So I'm just going to pick random people from the chat. If you guys want me to battle you, just at me, I suppose. Just, just, the Q will be an at. Uh, but yeah, oh, we actually have a Series 12 team. Our first try, we got a Series 12 team. So I'm going to go full screen, uh, and I'll pick people from the chat for the viewer battles in a second. Um, we see a, of course, it's cut off on the recording, but we see a Zamazenta Ho-Oh team. Likely just going to be coaching stuff. Uh, it's interesting they have a ride on there. It is probably just going to be um, Eviolite. Right on these what? Um, anyways, I think... All right, I see Diego's there. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go with the, the standard lead that just wins. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll go Torkoal. I definitely want to bring Venusaur to this game, even though uh, it's likely not going to do too much. It's mainly meant to switch in on the Venusaur attack uh, for uh, my Finny, which is, you know, they have a Sun team. I have a Venusaur. It's kind of a throw not to bring it. Uh, and I think my last Mon, I, I want to bring Zacian. Obviously, Zacian does good into every team, but the ho there makes me want to bring um, the Regieleki instead. Let's just bring the Zacian. Why not? It just feels more reliable. Okay, so I see Diego and Beirut. So Diego, Beirut. I have those two names in the queue. Uh, the manual queue is definitely not a fun way of doing this. Also, let me know, is my voice loud enough, and is the in-game audio loud enough, or is it, like, overpowering me? Yeah, Ash, unfortunately, the manual request is the only way I can do it right now, because I switched over to stream elements, and uh, apparently it doesn't have a queue function. All right, what's sweet is they literally can't status me. They don't have any terrain on their side of the field, so they can't get rid of my... <laughs> they can't, they can't like, burn this thing with Sacred Fire or anything. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and coil here. I'm not really concerned of anything less than, like, a like a spec solar beam into my friggin' Tapu Fini, which I really doubt they're going to do that. It's pretty unlikely they're running spec solar beam of all sets. Uh, so I'll get my first coil up here. And likely they're just going to target into the Psyguard, so I'm pretty willing to try to go for the Heal Pulse, like, immediately. Yeah, Ricky, I'm in my last semester for my physics degree. I'm, I'm literally graduating in, in spring, and I just had my first uh, class today, and that was tough already. Like, I'm looking at the homework that I just started. It's only one problem because it's, like, day one, but you know, electrodynamics doesn't seem easy. I'm going to have to, <laughs> and I'm still, tr I'm still trying to do daily uploads, right? I, I kind of treat YouTube as like a second job at this point. Um, I, I work at like my school's parking lot, right? So I like have regular income that's like reliable, but YouTube, I think I make more off of YouTube than I do my, my part-time job at school at this point. Um, I guess it depends on how much effort I put into, you know, getting daily videos out and how much you guys support me. But I think at this point it's like, if not equal to my income, which is not very high, that's why I kind of have to do both. Um, then it's, it's either like equal to it or just slightly higher. For the homework, just say no you. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's, that's, um, that's Ohm's law. No you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the correct answer. Thank you for the, for the answer to my homework. And ye to wheat, I'll go ahead and add you to the queue. As we see them Dynamax the ho -Oh. I'm not terribly concerned about that. Um... Zygarde's super, super bulky. If they max Aver stream me, I kind of don't care. Uh, yep. I kind of hope it's into the Zygarde, to be honest. Yeah, because I'm just going to get my heal pulse off, and I'm literally back at full health. And I get the coil off. Low Goat, how you doing? Okay, so there's the coil. Uh, I kind of... I want to say that their weakness policy mainly because I, I was looking away, obviously, but I don't think they're Life Orb. I can obviously check in a second and find out if they're Life Orb. Uh, Life Orb is a horrible item on Ho-Oh, yeah. Uh, they could be Leftovers, they could be Berry. I'm going to say they're probably Weakness Policy, so I'm going to set up a little bit more, and I want to hit them with that Thousand Arrows. Uh, as soon as I know, I'm not really concerned about taking a uh, <laughs> a Max Airstream uh, at plus two. So uh, we're just going to rinse and repeat, do that same thing. If we don't get crit, we always live. What Zygarde set do you use? I don't have any particular calcs for mine. I'd rather not drop it yet. Um, I'm participating in a tournament this weekend, uh, so I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit, and I'll drop it like after the tournament. I'll probably make it public. 
Uh, but I might not also, I don't know. I, I kind of want to optimize Zacia and Zygarde for running it in the upcoming seasons. Uh, because despite what you guys, you know, expect from the channel, I, you know, I like make teams every week. I make like two teams minimum every single week that I've played this game for the past five years. Uh, and while I might not make all of them in game, uh, I, I kind of want to get consistent with two or three teams for the remainder of the season to sort of take competitive seriously for once. And that might sound weird, right? Like, what do you mean take competitive seriously? You don't take competitive seriously? You have a YouTube channel. Uh, but I guess the best way to put it is I only play when I'm recording. I like don't practice outside of that, except for like when I'm like have like a new idea for a team. Uh, like the first game I won't, I won't record, right? But I'll like record every other game. Uh, so I guess, I guess what I'm saying is I want to start playing outside of recording to get really, really good at the game. I think the reason I'm just like above average right now, I would say I'm pretty good, you know, um, is strictly just because of how much I've been playing for how long. Uh, and I think that if I were to just push it a little bit further and commit myself to two or three archetypes, I could actually get really good at the game. Uh, possibly, you know, qualify for Worlds if I really gave it my all. Uh, but, you know, it's 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 gonna be tough obviously it's gonna be like a tough road ahead but i want to i want to go for it this year i might be filling my plate a little bit too much with being a you know <laughs> a content creator and the fact that i also want to graduate this year so th there's there's a lot on my plate but hopefully um i can handle all of it all right so thousand arrows will knock down this hoe i'm at plus three <laughs> I'm at plus three. I don't know if Brave Bird KOs my Finny. I am running bold. Let's see how much it does. All right, they do just target the Zygarde, so I'm going to get this heal pulse off, which means I probably just win now. They let me completely set up. <laughs> I'm literally max HP on my Zygarde. Like, I'm completely filled up. I got plus three, plus three in defense and attack. I have plus one in special defense. They're not breaking this. Like, there's no chance. Let's see if they are weakness policy, or I guess it's not super effective to the next turn, so we can avoid that. Obviously, Ice Punch is just going to bounce off of us, and it can't freeze us either. Uh, so I feel comfortable just going for this second thousand arrows. And I'm, I'm actually going to go right into my Zacian, because I want to keep that Finny around, and a Brave Bird could knock out my Finny. As they just forfeit, yeah. So we just completely set up on that. I guess I could just consider that like a, a podcasty battle, because I was sort of just talking to you guys about uh, how I feel about the game competitively. I'm going to go Venu, and... I think I go Venusation. Torkoal in the back. And my last Mon, I, I really want to bring the Zygarde. It might seem kind of weird saying I want to bring Zygarde to this matchup, uh, but I think Zygarde does really well into it, um, especially if I can get like a single coil off. Obviously, Zygarde isn't going to be my immediate choice when it comes to Dynamaxing, but if I could um, hopefully avoid a Rain Dance Tornadus, that would be great. That would be great. Anyways, let's do this. Sports, how you doing? Finally able to catch a stream? First one? Hey, good to see you. Okay. <laughs> My ankle itches right now, I'm sorry. Um, I really hope this isn't Rain Dance, that would suck for me. I gotta go, I gotta pick up some chicken for my family. What's the best side for it though? I have my chicken defrosting in the kitchen right now. I am a big fan of chicken with uh, potatoes. That will be my dinner tonight. Actually, I might have to like get up in, like an hour into the stream and start baking my potato. That actually might be something I have to do, which is really, really funny. Anyways, um, hope it's not rain dance. That'd be great if it wasn't. Of course, in a best of three, this would be easier to gauge, but... It's just how it is. If it's not rain dance, it's not rain dance. Okay, I'm Dynamaxing. I kind of think it might be rain dance, but uh, they didn't switch, so I think I'm guaranteed just to take this Kyogre from them. I guess unless they like Dynamax the Zacian, which not the end of not the Zacian, the Tornadus, which not the end of the world to be honest. Um, Cooking stream in the Reggie Drago cosplay. I feel bad I never got around to that, but I was broke that whole summer. 
as they're just gonna tailwind. Okay, cool, cool. So I got the Kyogre from them because there's no way they live this unless they're AV. Uh, and they Ice Beam. Don't freeze me. It might be Specs, yo. Critical. Okay, that that explains it. Actually, they can't freeze me. This sun's up. But that thing's gone, and we have our um, and and we have our vines on the field, which is really good. If you don't know. How do I say it? Zygarde in this format is so bulky and the games go so slowly if you play them right that I legitimately think that you can use Zygarde as a timer win condition if you have a lot of long animations on screen. That's why I'm literally running like... <laughs> that's why I'm literally running like... um, What is it called? I'm running Zygarde, Shiny. I'm running Myzation, Shiny. And I'm running GMAX Vinelash because that helps out with lowering their HP. And uh, Diego... Diego, you, you okay, bud? Yeah. Okay. So we've recreated turn one, barring the crit, which really sucks. I feel bad about that, but that's just how it that's just how it goes. And I believe he sent in the Zacia in this turn. Yep. And now we are back to where we were. Welcome to Pokemon. <laughs> Now we get to play this however we need to play it. Um, I kind of want a Weather Ball, but obviously I'm going to lose my Venusaur. Honestly, I don't need the Venusaur to win at this point. Um, we got rid of the thing Venusaur is meant to kill, which is literally just the Kyogre. So I'm, I'm ready and willing to just double the Zacian here. Like, I don't even care. Let me Heat Wave. Um, I, the fact that he didn't Rain Dance that turn tells me he probably doesn't have it. And if he does, okay. Oh, he does have it. He does have it. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, I still get a max geyser off if he decides not to target Venusaur, and if he doesn't, I'm still not in a terrible spot. Sacred Sword. Okay. I think this double up might KO him because this is literally still Venusaur hitting you with a move that is really strong. Okay, that's that's still KO'd. That was a crit. So the crit that he got went to me instead, and I feel even worse about that. <laughs> <laughs> Way to make me feel bad about a win, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he can bring it back at this point. I'm sorry, Diego. I'm sorry that that, that happened. Um, but that's that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. That is that is how the cookie crumbles sometimes. By the way, we're at 74 views uh, viewers right now. Thank you all for coming out to the stream. 74 viewers. Shout out. Shout out to you 74 people in the chat. Chilling with me. As, actually, I could lose. I could legitimately lose this if, uh, if I don't play my cards right. I mean, Tornado should go down in two turns, so I think there is a correct play I can make here. Um, I don't give him my Torkoal, obviously. Can he go Zacian here? And Bubs, thank you so much for the subscription. I almost missed that. Uh, well, the reason I didn't Geyser and Heat Wave is literally just because I'm scared that the Airstream would KO my Venusaur, which it probably would from this range. I thought I was watching a video. I forgot this was live. Oh, that's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Make a team with Piloswine or Base Calyrex. I will forever praise you. Uh, you will become the Pokemon God. Piloswine or Base Calyrex. Those both sound hard. Those both sound hard to build around. All right, let's see if you went for the um, for the Airstream. I would assume that's what you do in the situation. And the double up, which is great. Which is great. Um, I win by just keeping my... <laughs> by keeping my... Um, What's it called? Torkoal alive, because Cartana shouldn't be able to beat that. I'm going to go into my Zygarde. Uh, and I am just going to Behemoth Blade this Tornadus. Fusion Flare plus Fusion Bolt's a thing you can do again. I, I don't even know how that works. Does it kind of work like the pledge moves? Is, is that how it works? Are Fusion Flare and Fusion Bolt like a pledge move situation where if you do one, the other one follows it up immediately and they like combo to be really strong? Shout out Special Defensive Zacian. He's going to take both of these hits. I guess he only needed to take one, but my point still stands. He like He took it like a champ.
Okay, so Tornadus is gone, and now I win by virtue of Torkoal existing versus a Kartana. Uh, so here I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go for that, I guess. I, I don't really need to send it in yet. Uh, I kind of just hit it. <laughs> I literally just kind of hit it until it goes down. Um, doesn't matter when I send in my guy. So I'll just do that. Behemoth Blade. Because there's no point in risking sending it in too early and having it get KO'd, you know? It's just not worth it. The Max Airstream again. Into the Zygarde. I'm going to get my Zygarde complete, but it's not going to matter. When Cole was everywhere, I used Pylosphine to counter it in Series 9. Did it? Was it able to take a plus 2 max overgrowth, though? I guess that's my main question. Was Pylosphine able to deal with that? Wow, that does so much. This Pokemon's gross. Did I crit him again? Yeah, I crit him again. It didn't matter this time, but the first one definitely did. <laughs> I think it'd be really funny if um, the the name Thousand Arrows scaled with um, scaled with the form of the Zygarde you're using, right? So Zygarde complete can have thousand arrows, right? And then Zygarde fifty percent can have like hundred arrows. But I think it'd be really funny if Zygarde ten percent, if its version of the move was called six or seven arrows. <laughs> Like, it's uncertain how many there are, so it's like, oh yeah, my Zydog used six or seven arrows. Like, the, the, the damage doesn't have to scale, because obviously they all have the same exact attack stat, but if the name scaled, that'd be hilarious. Or what if it scaled negatively? So, or, so like, if you were Zygarde complete, it was six or seven arrows, but if you were Zydog, it was, th it was thousand arrows. Alright, I'm sorry about the crit and the fact that your crit didn't happen this time, Diego. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, good game. I'm stealing all your team's mental orb torn is best torn. I think that, um, I, I think that, like, berry torn is typically really good, especially if you're running bulky. Okay, um, I haven't seen this combo yet. It's, okay, this is interesting, actually. It's sun and rain, but the rain abuser is the Lugia. So I think... I mean, Zygarde just does great into this unless they're running Haze. And if they don't bring it at all, then like Zygarde just does consistently well. I think I'm going to lead off with it for that reason. Um, I definitely want my Zacian in this matchup, obviously. Like, that's going to be really good. Um, and I think my last Mon, I'm somewhat tempted to go with the Regieleki. But I could also make a case for Venusaur because we are facing Sun. So I think I'm going to do that. Everything about how Zygarde technically only has 100 cells in its entire body. Well, I mean, like, the cells are made up of cells. Like, the, ce the cell, the Zygarde cells are, like, cute names for the little tiny Zygarde 1%s, right? But I'm sure that they're not literally just a single cell organism. I mean, they, they have eyeballs and stuff, right? So they're not, like, single cell organisms. I think it'd be really cute if we could have Zygarde 1%s. I think that'd be adorable. The Hierarch, thank you so much for the follow. I think that'd be adorable if we could have Zygarde 1%s. But unfortunately, we can't. Um, like as a baby Pokemon, that'd be so awesome. We already have baby restricted. So like, why not, why not Zygarde 1%? Like, can we have that? Even as just like a follower Pokemon, I think it'd be cute, you know? So like, realistically, Zygarde Complete has millions of cells because its individual cells aren't single cell organisms. Lugia and Cinnaror? Okay, that's fine. Um, obviously, like, we kind of have to expect it's just weakness policy set up stuff. Like, that's, like, the only way to run Lugia consistently, in my opinion. Um, crits are annoying, because obviously Aeroblast can crit us. I'm not terribly concerned about this lead. I think I'm just going to set up coils. I really think that's how I do this. And yeah, he can like, obviously, just intimidate spam us. But like I said, like I can go for timer if I really need to with this team. Like timer is a legitimate way to play the Zygar team. Policy Lugia is the current set. I mean, I kind of agree. I think Policy Lugia is so basic that it's like super easy to, to predict coming. Is he just going to calm mind? I'm not too concerned about that, really. 
It could be leftovers though. I guess um, what I could do this turn is go for the thousand arrows and check if it's leftovers. Because we don't take damage, probably just a parting shot, yeah. Yeah, this turn I'm going to go ahead and knock it down. I'm going to go for my thousand arrows. Shouldn't be able to stop it either. Um, if it goes into Groudon, I'm not terribly concerned, really. I guess um, I guess if Groudon does come in, I have to be a little bit more careful with my Zacian. As the Groudon does come in. But here I'm just going to go ahead and um, Thousand Arrows to knock this thing down and check to see if it's leftovers. If it's not leftovers, I feel a little bit more comfortable in this matchup. Um, if it is, it could be a little bit annoying. And now I'm actually just going to stay in and heal Pulse. Because as soon as this thing's knocked down, I can start hitting it with, like... <laughs> I can start hitting it with max quakes, and I think that's fine. Okay, yeah, he's just going to cycle it. That's what I figured. But once again... Zygarde isn't about damage. It could be. Zygarde could be about damage. It's mostly just about being annoying and staying on the field for absurdly long amounts of times, though. What I really want to do here is break a multi-scale. Alright, also that's not within Leftovers range, but it was a crit, so that's probably why. It's not Leftovers, that is 100% weakness policy. Let me do this. Um, it's, it's within range of Zacian, and if he doesn't airstream me, then he's not going to have a good time. If he calm mines here, I'm in a really good spot, in fact. Alright, yeah, there's the Dynamax. Uh, I guess an airstream into my Zygarde wouldn't be great. Um, actually, an airstream anywhere isn't that good for me, because he is at plus two. Uh, but the bright side is he can't set up anymore. And my Zygarde can now Dynamax. <laughs> and just start quaking into Lugia. Okay, yep, yeah, and I'm going to get my complete form here. As it's actually Life Orb, which is kind of confusing. Um, I don't think Life Orb's ever really the play on Lugia. I mean, it could work out, obviously, but um, especially if you're, like, running Calm Mind, I don't think it's ever really the play, unless you have Roost. I guess maybe it would work. Obviously, I could lose to this, and then at, at that point, I'm like, why am I even talking about it? I'm losing to it. Um, but that is something to note. As I sense the presence of many... I get a good amount of health back. I'm gonna max quake this guy. And kinda wish I had my intimidate, but sadly I don't. I think I can go into Finny here. I'd rather keep my Zacian healthy. As they, they just withdraw, which is fine. Like I said, our win con isn't getting damage. It's staying healthier than the opponent. <laughs> and if he does max Quake into my Zacian slot, which I think he does at this point, um, Finny should eat that up like Reese's Puffs and I can get a heal pulse off. Yeah, Zygarde's absurdly beefy. Max Flare. Okay, I'm even happier about that. What move does Lugia get with Max Flare? I, I legitimately don't know that one. Is that a crit? No, it just does that much. I don't know what move that is. Is it Weather Ball? I don't... Does Lugia get Weather Ball? <laughs> That's news to me. Weather ball? Okay, yeah, that's the move. 
All right, let me max Quake it again. Uh, and now I'm going to protect here. Because if they do max Airstream my Finny, uh, that just lets me get my Wiki Barrier guaranteed. Delawin, thank you so much. I appreciate the compliment. Welcome to the stream. If it's your first time, uh, I'm bad at Pokemon. That's that's like that's all you need to know. Going into my live streams. Yep, and that's gonna send me in my Wiki Berry range. And now my Finny's at plus two special defense. Also, that was their last turn of Dynamax, so I think if they don't crit me, I can easily heal pulse here. Obviously, P-Blades would be kind of annoying, but I am physically defensive, so if it's not... If it's going for P-Blades, there's a chance it could miss, and also, it would have to double into the Finny to stop this. He's actually good at Pokemon, but he cannot legally say that. This is true. I can't legally say I'm good at Pokemon. It's, uh, it's illegal in the US. Okay, let's find out if it's Haze. And if it is Haze, we haven't lost much. Like, really. Because that actually stops the Lugia from doing damage. And I still have the health advantage. Mist disappears. I suppose a Scald Burn could uh, be kind of annoying, but not, not too much. Not terribly annoying. I want to say they, they just straight up go back into the Incineroar here. Uh, so what I can do is... I'm going to Mac Quake the Lugia again, and I'm going to go for the Heal Pulse on my Zygarde to make sure I'm close to full health. Aeroblast. Let's see if this KOs from this range. It does not, which is awesome, because I'm probably faster than that Politoed. And I do get another Max Quake off. Let's see if they're Haze. I would actually be fine with a Haze at this point. Because that makes Lugia so much easier to deal with without the speed boosts. I don't have to worry about like Weather Ball or anything with my Zacian coming in. Blades of Glory, that'd be so good. Parish Song? Honestly, fine with that. I have three turns to be annoying. I'm in a thousand arrows. And I'm going to go into my Zacian here. And I am specially defensive on my Zacian, so I can probably take a Weather Ball. Recover. Okay, that's fine. Uh, like I said, I just need to Behemoth Blade this thing. Ooh, it's minimization. That might not be good. Don't burn. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to protect here. And get in my Finny. Because Lugia's only got a couple of turns. They withdraw Polito, that's fine. Rodon, cool with that actually. They're just gonna weather ball, obviously. Nice. And here I'm gonna make kind of a, a gamer play. Uh, Lugia has to switch here. Obviously, Lugia is super, super important. Uh, what I can do is. I can go right into my Venusaur. And I can attempt to set up a substitute. There's no chance he, he'd trade the Lugia when, like, it's the only way he can, like, consistently break Zygarde. So I'm going to go for a sub, and I'm going to get in my Venu. And 
And here's here's what happens basically. If I get this sub off, um, I dodge a behemoth, or not a behemoth blade. I dodge a potential uh, precipice blades. And if I get it and I dodge the precipice blades anyways, um, then I just have a sub, which is arguably better. Not even arguably, it's just straight up better. As it does connect on both. But it shouldn't KO Venusaur here. And now, I can exert some pressure by going for a Protect and going hard into my Zygarde. Because they should be faking out, and I can go for the Thousand Arrows for consistent damage on like everything on his side of the field, because I'm going to be at neutral attack. In fact, I might double the Incineroar next turn to guarantee a KO, because Sludge Bomb into Thousand Arrows should probably do it. This is stressful. It's a little bit stressful. I can I can definitely see it possibly coming down to timer. Um, but Heal Pulse Finny is probably going to help me out if I can pick up like one or two stray KOs. And he has to go for the fake out there. Oh, maybe not. Let's see if he doesn't. Blur Blitz? Alright, that's fine. Do you guys want to see a gamer play? Do you guys want to see an, an absolute gamer play? I kind of want to weather ball the Incineroar. I kind of really want to weather ball the Incineroar, expecting the Polytoad to come out here. But it's probably not. I think I can, uh, actually no, it's it's probably going to be the Lugia that comes out, if anything. So I think I just double the Incineroar regardless. But I don't, um, you know, but I don't, like, call anything particularly. I just need to KO it. Yeah, there's the Lugia. So this will also knock it down along me to 1,000 arrows more. And I think this double up should do it, because this is a... Life Orb. Ooh, it might not KO depending on if it's, like, Citrus. It's not Citrus. Okay. If it was, like, Wiki or something, then that was, like, really good for me. Okay. And we can note that Lugia does have setup moves, so I'm gonna not let it set up on me this time. I'm just gonna go for KOs. There's the Toad. I'm gonna need energy for this battle. True. We go into my Zacian here because I want to say he's probably just going to calm mind. Actually, maybe I give him the um, Finny now. I don't want to hard switch in the Zacian, really. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. And I just thousand arrows for damage. Because that'll, if he recovers here, that will also allow me to just. Stop it from, like, having multi-scale next turn. Yeah. And if he doesn't KO me, he's in trouble here. I would say if anything goes for the Scald into the um, the Zygarde, which I'm fine with. Yeah, no, I'm in a pretty good spot. We haven't seen Protect on the Lugia yet. We've seen Roost, Aeroblast, Weather Ball, and Calm Mind, so he can't protect it. So I get a KO on the Lugia here, and honestly, I just coil. I just coil. Oh no! No, not the server maintenance! Okay. Don't you dare. Don't you dare lose me this game server maintenance. I think I win regardless. I'm pretty sure I just always win by coiling here. But don't you dare server maintenance me, mister. Don't you dare. Okay, Lugia's down, and I definitely just win. Even if he perish songs, he just loses because Venusaur exists. <laughs> I didn't know they were doing server- why are you doing server maintenance? They never do server maintenance. Or at least I haven't seen it. 
Did they normally do, did they normally do server maintenance around this time? I don't I don't usually see it. And yeah, no, I, I definitely just win here. Because he can't perish song or anything. We've seen protect on the Groudon, so I can just protect here and go for a thousand arrows. Actually, I give him my Finny every time. I always give him Finny and Thousand Arrows. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm so used to seeing maintenance, or I was really used to seeing maintenance back in the day when we were playing, like, um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Like, the, the servers would go down for maintenance every single Monday. But you almost never see maintenance for Sword and Shield, um, like, ever. Maybe today's the day we get the Pokemon Home update, and that's what they're doing? That could be interesting. There's people like Zygarde avoids. Uh, that definitely didn't matter. It would have bounced off a of Zygarde at plus one, even with the helping hand. So now I can't be burned or anything. Um, I get off my thousand arrows. And yeah, no, I probably just went here. Uh, I'm going to get my Venusaur because I can just go for the... I just go for the Leaf Storm on the on the Groudon, to be honest. There's no reason to like predict anything. Three minutes till the battle ends. I think I win anyways. But I do have to take a lot of time clicking my moves here. To play optimally, I should be taking my time clicking my moves. Mm, nah, I'm not going to play optimally. That's that's boring. That's boring content. Anyways, if we connect this, we just win. Leaf Storm. Goodbye. I think that, like, I, I think that in order to update the home servers, they would have to update Sword and Shield as well. I have no idea how it works. It'd probably be a minor update. All right, good game, Barrett. That was long, right? <laughs> that was a long, long battle. But we got it. Nice. And yeah, there were a couple of times where it looked like Zygarde was going to go down, but that's the thing when you play Zygarde. You simply just don't let it go down. You just straight up don't let it go down. So when I...